Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another makeup quick tips and tricks video. So in today's video, we're going to be going through exactly how to cover your acne spots, your pimples, your breakouts in a really quick, efficient way that is going to last all day. I know it's so frustrating and I mean, I've been there a million times before. You've got a breakout for whatever reason, you do your makeup, you load the concealer on, you think, yep, I'm good for the day. You go to work, you go to school, you go do whatever you need to do. And then at some point during the day, you catch your reflection and you have got an acne angry little red pimple or even a big red pimple screaming out through your makeup and you're like well hang on a minute I applied 7,000 layers of concealer this morning how the hell did that happen yeah we've all been there unfortunately with breakouts you know makeup a lot of the time just doesn't last or it just doesn't cover it correctly or you know you might even draw attention to the pimple well worry no more I'm gonna show you my foolproof way of covering breakouts pimples acne all of it and exactly how I get it to last all day long. So if you were interested in learning about that, then please keep on watching. And as always, if you are new here, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you as part of the family and also ring that notification bell so that you get notifications for my new uploads. All right, let's jump into it. All right, guys, so I've zoomed you in super close so that you can get a really, really good look at the breakouts that I am having on my face right now. Um, for me, typically most of my breakouts do happen around my mouth and sort of along my chin area. Um, you know, they're hormonal breakouts and they're also related Related to food, bad food choices usually. Um, yeah, I want you to be able to see everything, so I'm zoomed in super nice and close up so that you can see absolutely everything. Now, if you are like me, when you are suffering from breakouts, I am sure that you use lotions, potions, motions, <laughs> anything that you can get your hands on to actually dry the acne spot out, to zap it. It might be a face mask, it might be, you know, a medicated treatment or something. Um, and usually what happens, and also for me, even without using those, usually what happens is the skin around the breakout, it gets quite dry and, um, like sort of flaky and just not not ready for foundation basically. It is a really, really important that you use a really good hydrating moisturizer that is not greasy or oily. So nothing emollient, you wanna go for something more water-based. And um, I've got one here by Dermalogica, the Calm Water Gel. Absolutely love this moisturizer. It's just a really brilliant formula and it completely absorbs into the skin, which is what you need because you don't want to make the surface that you're trying to cover, you know, greasy or slippery or shiny um, because it's just gonna, you know, alter how long the makeup does last. So taking a little bit of that moisturizer on the tips of my fingers, I'm going to press it into the skin. Now guys, I've spoken about this before. It's really important to wash your hands before touching your face, especially if you're prone to breakouts and acne and blackheads and things like that because your hands do have bacteria on them and bacteria is going to get into the skin and you're going to get even more breakouts. So I'm spreading that moisturizer onto the skin. You can really see those breakouts coming up now. So let that settle in. Um, this Dermalogica moisturizer is brilliant. It's pretty much completely gone within I don't know about 30 seconds but you know just touch your skin before continuing you know you might have a moisturizer that doesn't absorb as quickly give it a couple of minutes to actually absorb into the skin uh, because you want it completely absorbed so that you know any concealers any foundations you put on over top and um, they don't actually budge they stay in place. Next up, I want you to take an eyeshadow primer. And I know that sounds crazy. And honestly, it doesn't matter if it's a tinted eyeshadow primer or if it's a colored eye primer, really doesn't matter. Just make sure that it is not silicon or have that slippery texture that some eyeshadow primers have. Um, an example of a slippery silicon textured eye primer is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is not the kind of eye primer that you're wanting to be using for this kind of a thing. Um, for me personally, obviously love the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. This is a tinted one and it's fantastic. It comes in a bunch of different colors this shade is soft ochre another really really good one is the smashbox photo finish lid primer doesn't have that slippery texture it's a really nice one what i want you to do is to take the eye primer and apply it directly to your breakouts so i picked a little of it up on a brush you don't need to use heaps of product it's really only a very small amount but applying this eye primer is actually going to help your makeup stay on the breakouts all day long prevent it from sliding off prevent it from rubbing off prevent it from fading just going to keep it there all day. So I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot and you can see because this does have coverage, you know, it is covering up a little bit of that redness. So, you know, very helpful. But like I said, you know, if you don't have a colored primer at home, it's fine. You can use a clear one. Um, just as long as it's not like silicon based and slippery. Okay, so a very, very thin layer of that primer has been applied to those breakout spots. And this one's great too because it dries down to a matte finish. It's kind of like a paint. Like nothing, nothing beats this primer. Like seriously, it's the best ever. All right, so next up what you want to do is use a concealer over the breakout. Now, a lot of people reach for the normal concealer that they use 
you know, we all use a lighter concealer through the center of our face, under our eyes, um, you know, just to highlight and conceal at the same time. It is absolutely the worst thing that you can do to cover a breakout because what you do when you apply a concealer that's slightly lighter than your foundation shade to a breakout, all you are doing is drawing light, focus, and attention to that breakout. You are essentially highlighting your pimple and making it more obvious. And so many people don't realize this, but it's super, super important. So what you want to do is to take a concealer that's either slightly darker than your foundation or the same shade as your foundation. My absolute favorite concealer in the whole world at the minute is the Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. This is by Too Faced. It's a really beautiful, lightweight, full coverage concealer. Doesn't transfer, doesn't crease really really long lasting it feels nice and lightweight on the skin it's just a beautiful concealer i'm using the shade sand and for reference um the concealer shade that i usually use in this is light beige so you can see it's darker slightly darker it's not like oh my gosh that's so much darker but like slightly darker <laughs> and what you want to do is use that concealer on the breakouts now because i've got active breakouts i'm trying not to introduce you know extra additional bacteria into them i always depot it onto the back of my hand first and then go in with a brush or a sponge sponges work really perfectly for this because they do give a super airbrush finish this is the nikia joy cosmetics perfecting sponge what i'm going to do is pick up a tiny bit of that concealer on the back of my hand there onto the sponge and then go straight in and stipple that darker concealer over those breakouts. Now it might look a little odd. You might be like, um, kind of look like I've given myself a mustache. Don't worry. It's, it's where you want to be. And trust me, using a deeper concealer on those breakouts is going to absolutely change your life. Not only does it prevent you from actually highlighting and drawing attention to them, but it's also got better coverage. Deeper concealers have much better coverage and much longer lasting coverage than lighter concealers do. I'm pushing that into the skin and you can see like already how astonishing the coverage of this concealer is. I only used a tiny amount on the back of my hand and it's completely covered that whole area of my face. So following around, tracking around, applying it to any breakouts that you need to. It's really great too if you've got dark circles or areas of redness or rosacea on the face, you can also apply this to those areas. I mean, you might as well cover up everything that you want to while you're at it. Another really important thing is to only use a very, very, very light amount of concealer. You can see here the layer that I've applied here on the skin is like, it's a very sheer layer. You don't want to, you know, add very thick layers of products because that's what causes cakiness. That's what causes more texture. It will basically just cause the whole area to be even more noticeable. So go in thin layers. And if you've got a concealer that you're finding doesn't quite have enough coverage, that's okay. Apply a very, very thin layer. Let it set, like leave it for a couple of minutes, let it dry down and then apply another very thin layer. Don't just sort of apply heaps and heaps of like layers in one go. You're just going to cause cakiness. And the idea is that the skin is beautiful and smooth and that those breakouts are not visible. All right. So the next thing that I want you to do is to actually set that concealer down with a translucent powder. Now, if you've only applied um, concealer on certain areas of your face and you're going to be applying your foundation now, this is the time to prime the rest of your skin. Um, I've already done it. I just quickly did it off camera, um, but you know, any areas of skin where you don't have concealer, apply your primer now. I always avoid using primers in conjunction with the eyeshadow primer um, on the actual breakouts because I just find that the combination of the two, it just, it doesn't work. It's it, I don't know, it just doesn't last as long. So yes, prime the rest of your exposed skin and then set that concealer down with a translucent powder. So important that it is a translucent powder. Don't be using like a powder foundation. Don't be using a tinted powder. It has to be translucent. I'm gonna be using our Nikia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Finishing Powder and you don't need heaps of powder either. Like that's the most important thing with all of these. Go very, very, very small amounts of all of your products and you'll get the best result. So I've just got a small amount of that powder in the cap here and using the same sponge, picking it up, picking up the powder, pushing that into the skin in a very, very, very light layer. I am going to be going in with foundation over these and applying the powder is not going to affect that. And if you've got primer on, powder your entire face with this. Um, this powder is really, really beautiful and finely milled and it will extend the wear of your makeup by applying it underneath your makeup. We'll also help control oils by doing this. I've spoken to you guys about this a million times, but powdering the skin, you know, very, very lightly. Again, don't be like baking your face, but very, very light powdering underneath foundation works absolute magic for extending makeup wear, for controlling shine and also like it somehow makes your makeup look even smoother. Like it's pretty cool. All right, we're all powdered down now. And I mean, already 
you pretty much cannot see those breakout spots. Like we have fairly well covered them. So we're going to go ahead and apply our foundation. Now I would recommend using a foundation that is long wearing, long lasting. Um, I'm sure that you have your own favorites. Um, just try to use something that's not... I don't know, like a super dewy, glowy, hydrating foundation that you only typically get three to four hours of wear out of before it rubs off. You really do want to go in with something that's a little bit longer lasting so that you get the best results. Um, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics CC Oil Free Matte. There's such a long name on this. Like, I really don't even know. Pore Minimizing Full Coverage Cream. The, the Oil Free CC Matte Cream by It Cosmetics, okay? <laughs> I'm using the same sponge. It's just... It's my holy great way of applying foundation. It just makes it so smooth. It's really important to, you know, if you have used these steps and you are covering acne, don't be using a regular, you know how sometimes some foundations, they require you to really rub them and buff them into the skin with like a buffing brush, like a kabuki brush. I'm sure I've got one. Here's one here. Um, you know, like sort of this sort of emotion. Um, that's not what you want to be doing because what you will do by doing that and by applying your foundation that way is to disturb the layers of coverage that we've already built um, and basically expose your red acne again. So either using a sponge and make sure the sponge is really, really nice and soft like this one or using a foundation brush and only using stippling motions, you know, in the areas where the breakouts are. Um, just to avoid disturbing that makeup that we've already applied. All right, so that foundation is all applied to the skin now and you can see that the coverage level on those breakouts is absolutely like truly other than the slight bump of the texture you cannot see those breakouts at all using that deeper concealer using that eyeshadow primer um you know everything is covered up amazingly but it's also not cakey on those areas um you know looking at my skin it looks the same everywhere it's got the same level of coverage everywhere um there's no heaviness or cakiness in the areas where we have the breakouts which is really really what we were going for so now you want to actually set down your makeup like you usually do again i'm going to be using the same powder picking it up on the sponge and then using it all over the skin pushing it in and really locking that makeup into place this powder will lock your makeup in for up to 16 hours um, it also blurs the skin, which you'll be seeing here on screen. So it's a really good choice, especially if you suffer from breakouts. It's non-comedogenic. Gotta lock this makeup in. There's really nothing more frustrating. And I, I, it's happened to me so many times. I think that I look fierce. I'm like, yes, I've covered all my breakouts. I'm fine. I'm cool. Then I catch my reflection and I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. You can see them everywhere. <laughs> I hate it too. Sometimes like you'd be talking to someone and all you can think about, like you're just obsessed with it. They're looking at my zit. They're looking at my zit. Oh my gosh, they're looking at my zit. That's all they can see. Oh my gosh, my zit's oozing, isn't it? It's it's like pussing, it's leaking. Oh my God, they're looking at it. Like I've, I've been there. It's a horrible feeling. But here is the skin all powdered down, guys. Um, You know, really nice and smooth. Acne is covered and it's 100% going to last all day. The last step, the last thing that you want to do is to lock it in place with a setting spray. My favorite still hands down, absolutely the best setting spray on the planet is the Gerard Cosmetics Slate All Day Setting Spray. This is the rose scent. This is a scent that I actually did create with them. They've got other really amazing scents, coconut, green tea, um, like just there's heaps of them and they're all really, really beautiful. So I'm going to set my face down with a light layer of this. If you are interested, I do have a special code with them. It's Joy Bogo and it will get you two full sizes of these. Um, so two full size setting sprays for only $22 makes them 50% off basically. So let's go in with this now. Just a very, very light layer. And it's also really important when using a setting spray, you know, as soon as it's applied to the skin, give it time to actually dry down. You don't want to go in touching your face because you're gonna disturb the makeup. Um, give it time to actually dry down properly. Try not to touch your face. I don't know, it doesn't usually take long, like maybe a minute, maybe two minutes. Um, I also kind of like to fan it to speed the process up. But there you go, guys. All of that acne is gone. It is covered. It is brilliant. It's going to last all day. Like I guarantee you, if you follow these steps, um, apply your makeup in the morning, 10 p.m., 11 p.m. at night, it's still going to be covered. Um, it truly, like I've tested this. I've tried this. I've been working on this method for a really, really long time. She's tried and tested and she works. So what I'll do now is quickly go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup. Um, do you want to see what it looks like at the end? You curious? I'll show you. 
I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, so here is the finished look. Um, as you can see, those acne spots, those blemishes are still 100% covered. There is no additional texture on those areas of my face. Everything looks really, really nice and smooth. And like I said, she is locked in, ready to go for the entire day. So yes, I hope that you guys found today's video very helpful. I hope that it answered any questions that you may have had um, or just maybe hopefully solved some issues that you guys have been having covering your blemishes and your pimples and your acne spots. Um, they're really, there's truly nothing more frustrating. I've been there. I understand the struggle. It really affects your self-esteem. It really affects how you feel. It's awful. I know that it's awful. Just remember, it's completely normal. We've all been through it. We've all had pimples. We've all had breakouts. And that person that you are talking to is not staring at your pimple. I promise you that they're not. Even though you feel 110% like that, that's all that they're looking at. <laughs> all right, guys, I love you all so, so much. Please pop your comments, questions, concerns, requests, everything down in the comment section down below. I'll be down there hanging out with you, answering any of your questions. And I'll also link um, all the other products that are on my face so that you can can pick them up. I feel like I'm going to get a million questions about the lipstick. I always do. <laughs> all right, guys, I love you all so, so much, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye.